Hey, how's it going YouTube? Uh, today I want to show you guys a uh, new little kit I bought today. It's the uh, made by IPA. It's number 9038. It's called a fuel pump relay bypass master kit. And basically what this is, is this thing allowed me to open it up and show you. It comes with a little kit that has uh, about six relays in it and what the way this works is this is designed to plug in place of your the relay that's sitting there and it only controls the load side it takes the control side out of it so you can manually plug it plug this relay in the other relays place and turn it on and that sends power across the uh, the load side of the contacts that's so you can test uh, you know you can figure out if you got a control problem or if your load sides working um, I've made a lot of videos where you, you see me uh, pull out a relay and I'll stick some wires in there and I'll manually bypass it and really I, I think this type of setup is is a lot safer because in a lot of scenarios if you bypass your relay wrong and you short something out there's a good chance you could take out your computer driver or whatever is turning this thing on so this is a nice little kit to you know troubleshoot something really quickly I think and you know th this would on a regular relay this would be the coil and this is the is the uh, contacts so it's just bypassing the coil and allows you to plug it in and turn on your load manually so I think that's pretty neat. You know, they're all the same idea, just different types of uh, relay setups. So this could, this is a handy little kit, I think. Um, I believe this is the one I have on for my fuel pump on my Explorer. We'll go out there and take a look in a minute. I'll see if I can bypass it and see how well it works. I know, uh, I don't know, this one's kind of, and of course on the back here, it tells you like uh, what, you know, the small one with the spades has the years and domestic 70 to 2009. That one's a very common one in the middle there. So they have a lot of common, and they actually have more, uh, more relays. They make more kits, but, uh, I bought this off eBay. I think I paid uh, about thirty dollars for it. Not too bad. Well, that's my new kit I bought. Let's uh, let's go out to a vehicle and test it out real quick. Okay, out at my uh, '99 Ford Explorer. Boy, it's getting cold outside. Looks like it's starting to see a little snowflakes fall. See a couple snowflakes hit me. So it's cold outside right now. But anyway, let's go in my relay box here and see what kind of relays we got. Okay. Well, just so happens I have this type and this type. I know that the fourth one over here is my fuel pump. So let me look at this type. Pull that sucker out. Okay. Alright, so you can look at this drawing. Looks like one and two is the coil. So, so these two right here are the coil. And three and five, three and five are my two, uh, two I'm looking for. Actually, yeah, I do. I'm looking for the contacts. Uh, like I said, three and five, these two are three and five. That's the same one right here. So we'll do this. 
let me verify. They have the numbers different. They're using uh, 30 and, and uh, 87, which is also, 30 is usually common. And, and over here, 80, 85 and 86 are usually coil. So yeah, this should work. Test this out. Okay, I'm gonna put this in here. Okay, I got the fuse in. Let me turn it on. I should be able to turn this fuel pump on without having to turn a key on or anything. So let me see if we can hear it. And we do. I can hear that fuel pump kicking on. It's very quiet. It's very, very quiet, but you can totally hear it. Let me get a little further back. Hear that noise? Off. On. You can hear that high pitch, you know, whirling sound. So yeah, I'd say that works just great. Okay. Very handy. All right. Let me go ahead and put this one back in. Now. I have no idea what this one is. Ford sucks when it comes to labeling this crap. Should work right here. Okay, these numbers are the same. Yeah, see, these numbers are exactly the same. So, this should work. I mean, this is the coil here, the coil's gone there. So I'll do this. I don't know what's going to happen. Not sure what this controls, but we'll find out. Okay, got that thing in place. Let's see what starts. I don't know, started something. Whatever that is, it started. That's funny. All right. Let's try this one. Man, hard to get out. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what this starts. I'd say that's the starter relay. Let's see, I, I, I don't have a key in there, so that's handy. Well, I'm gonna throw this. I'm gonna stop doing this because it's uh, freezing outside right now. My hands hurt, so I'm gonna put this back together and go inside and call it quits. I just want to show you guys.
but okay that's pretty neat i'm gonna call it quits now because i'm freezing out here